Hi guys, Gunship here, and uh, welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, we're currently in a place called Reachwater Rock, um, and we're about to face off against the three Golder Brothers again. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Now I've got to admit, this, this can go either really easily or really badly. Because um, <laughs> this bit I have actually tested a couple of times, and each result was a bit different. For now, let's just get close to the altar. And we need to activate these pedestals and basically place a amulet fragment on each one. And then the easiest way for me to do it is to beat Ace to retreat, to be honest. And just sandwich myself in the, the door again. Because this guy is the first of the three brothers. It's actually the easiest one because it's kind of a straightforward kind of a guy, he controls these drogas, so you take him down and you take down most of the drogas as well. Apart from this guy. As you can see now, he's kneeling down, the next brother is up to bat, um, and he was the one who had three kind of uh, clones, but now he's got four of them. Now you got to do is just check the, the guy who has the arrows, uh, the horns on his head, he doesn't look in, um, a normal overlord, he just looks like you know he's kind of got an ancient Helmet. He's this one, for example, is a false one. Uh, so you just got to scan for this guy here, because he's the real one. Oof! I wish I could aim. Um, so as you can see, Sidious, um He's got the downturned horns. That's how you can tell him apart. So I think he's there. Whoops! Would have to stop moving. I suck at that tree. <laughs> I think that's him defeated as well. Hopefully. Yep, so that's two down, one to go. And this guy's the worst actually. Um or he can be. Cause he just kind of warps around the place the whole time. I get him? Oh, that's stand there. So that's those three out of the misery, I think. Huh. Can see what Dad had to say about this. Some way of reforging the amulet. Uh, so that's basically it. We've uh, defeated the three brothers. Uh, if we take a look at that amulet, it is actually quite a useful one to have. Um, where is it? The Golder Amulet. It increases your health, magicka, and stamina by 30 points. So it's quite a nice little uh, amulet to have. But obviously, uh, I prefer my archery bonus. So let's read him as well <laughs> and that's it that's basically the Forbidden Legends uh, quest completed so you know we've defeated them um, so that's one thing less to worry about so now I guess we should pick up the the Mages Guild but before we go as you can see now uh, the secret door that's just behind us has now opened up so we can now get some goodies for our work like some gold some gems a scroll. Yeah, it's not a bad little, not a bad little haul to be fair. And then we've got to make it back out of this place, which again, it's not too difficult. <laughs> There's no fast travel point though. Normally they have like a wraparound tunnel, uh, but not in this case. So we've got to do the hard way. Woo! Without falling. Oops. Hang on. Just normal rocks, so that was something exciting. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this. Um, so let's fast travel over to Cold Winterhold. 
Okay, so here we are at the College of Winterhold. Um, obviously, I just cut out a couple of uh, load screens and things like that. Um, so yeah, let's go see the Archmage himself. Oops. Hello, hello. This guy here is Sergius. He's the guy that I told you about. Um, the main reason I was coming to the College of Winterhold before. Uh, he's an enchantment trainer. So he's quite... A a uh, quick and easy way of um, leveling up your enchanting. But for now, let's go see the Archmage. So, round we go. It's got a quite a cool little place to be honest. It's quite a nice assortment of ingredients here. Um, also, over here. Um, I mean, this place got just kitted out. Oh, this is quite important Stone of Bizarrenzia. So we need those. We've got 12 now, so far. Not really much point stealing from there. There's a couple of... Uh, it's got an enchanting table as well with lots of... Uh, soul gems. Obviously everything's marked to steal right now, but hopefully as we progress um, we'll finally get access to all of this. So for now, let's speak to the what guy. You, you are relatively new here, are you not? I sure am. I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. True. Uh, no, sir. Sir? <laughs> How quaint. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Okay. Are we clear? Clear as crystal, my friend. Um, so let's see. What's the purpose of the college? Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power. Not something to be shunned by commoners, or treated as an amusing diversion by politicians. It shapes worlds, creates and destroys life. It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. Okay, and uh, I'd like to know a little bit more about college history. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. Okay, and what happened in the last few hundred years? The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. Okay, and what caused the Great Collapse? No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. I know there are some who have blamed the college, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. Okay, and tell me more about the Great Collapse. The Sea of Ghosts practically came alive. No one was expecting it. Monstrous waves battered the shore for weeks on end. Winterhold was ancient and weathered, but it couldn't withstand the sea's fury. Entire districts of the city were lost overnight. The waves receded in time, but the damage was irreversible. Most residents of Winterhold abandoned what was left of the city. The college survived. And so, here we remain. Okay, and have you ever met with the Sigic Order? Personally? No, not I. One of their number used to advise the Archmage when I was but an apprentice here. But that was a great many years ago. Before all the members of the Order were called back to the Isle of Arteum, and it disappeared entirely. Spooky. And dangerous research must be a problem. <laughs> not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. Fair enough. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Okay, and finally I need to speak to you about Sarthal. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. <laughs> I have enough to deal with right now. So that must happen a lot then. Um, we found some sort of orb. I told they wanted you to see it. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. Doubtful. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. 
Toftia normally looks after your little group, yes? That's right. Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Wow, staff of mage, like you're so generous. <laughs> okay, so All right, then. that's that. Um, what we've got to do now? Hitting the books. Since Tofflea is not available, I've been asked by Marbella Irvine to look into information on the subject we found in Sarthol by talking to Ura Groshub uh, in the Arcanium. So we're going to find an orc who reads books, which is kind of novel. <laughs> so I guess we're going. Are we going up? Or are we going down? Let's see if I find out. Nope, that's, that's just the way out, I think. Um, I think we're going. Whoops, I think we're going down then. Yep, here we go. Okay, so we're basically in the library of the Mages Guild. Um, most of the bookshelves either don't have anything useful in them or they're locked. So, you know, there's not really much point looking around. There is kind of a cool little chest here though, which comes into play a little later. But for now, let's speak to this uh, orc and see what happens. Sorry mate, I'm about to interrupt your lunch. <laughs> you are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. You say so. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. I'd like to see you now, try that. <laughs> do you require assistance. Yeah, we do. Um, let's see. And then there's a trader as well. I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. I shall. So uh, yeah, I don't think he has anything that useful, though. To be fair, nope. Uh, quite an impressive library. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. Okay, and you take your book very seriously? Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. Okay, and there's a couple of side quests we can trigger as well, so let's do this one. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Nope. Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian and devoted all his time to research and study. Wrote more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. Okay, sounds like a plan. And um, I need to learn something about something we found in Sarthor. I know what you want. <coughs> Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Yep. Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. Go on. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Okay, that's convenient. And uh, why these majors in Felglow Keep? Let's just call it a difference of opinion with the college. They were interested in research that goes outside the bounds of what the college allows, so they were persuaded to leave. Right. And who is Othon? He was an apprentice here at the college. <clears throat> Not very skilled, but got involved with a group of mages who took a liking to him. When they left, he took off after them, stole supplies and books from the college, I suppose as a way to ingratiate himself. Okay, and doesn't anyone seem to care that Orthorn stole things from the college? Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. <laughs> Although now it looks like you'll be doing the sorting. 
Good luck with that. Yeah, that's convenient. And uh, finally, is there any college business I can deal with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Okay, uh, why not? Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Okay, so well. literally just by talking to that guy, we've um, got a myriad of new quests. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. So we need to go find the stolen books from um, Felglow Keep, which is near to Velheim Towers and also Shimimis Cave. So that's one place we're going to be obviously heading to. Uh, Selidor's Insight, where's that going to take us? Okay, that, that one looks quite interesting. I think we have to go into Patima's uh, Catacombs for that one. So that's quite an easy one, which we may have time to do now. Let's just uh, literally run in and grab it and that's it. Um, <clears throat> and then I think also find a copy of the Waters of Oblivion. So, okay. That doesn't really help me. So let's check our inventory because he gave us a scribbled note, I think. Or maybe not. There we go. Ulrag's note. Let's look at this. Book, Water of Oblivion's location, Skyborn Altar. Okay. So, Skyborn Altar. Oh, perfect. Of course it is. It's a dragon. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. So we've got quite a lot to be getting on with. Uh, like I say, for now, let's get to Solitude and quickly get the um, the book, because that's probably the easiest one we can do. Who's this? No, not interested. You there. I have questions for you. Oh, God. You were in Sarpo, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Maybe, or oh, that's just annoying. Maybe. I know full well <coughs> that you have. Please, do not insult my intelligence. I just did. Torfdir is still there now, is he? I shall expect a full report when he returns. Uh, Why did it matter to you? Something was discovered in Sarthol that was significant enough that Torfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. I really Thank don't you for your guy. help. You may go now. Alrighty, so we're off to Solitude. So let's do that. Okay, so we're to Solitude and um, we're going back into Batema's catacomb, so we need to go to the temple. And then, like I say, hopefully all the draw and everything, whatever, <laughs> should already be dead. So hopefully we shouldn't have too many problems. of the eight divines upon you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, the only bad thing is you'll be just watching me run around if there are no Draugr. Uh, but I can't see him having reset so quickly. But in we go. Okay, so we're in again. And uh, to be honest, it's looking pretty quiet. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about any Draugr or vampires this time around. We just burn through this as quickly as we can. Yep. Looks like the place is empty. Nice one. So we're just going to speed run <laughs> through this and uh, grab ourselves a book. We come, on, come, on, come on. Oops. Hopefully, oh man, I've closed the doors. That's that is annoying. So. Okay. 
So yeah, we're just speed running through this because uh, hopefully you know it does seem to be pretty much abandoned now, which is good because if we had to go fight our way through all the Draugr again, that'd just be annoying. Um, avoiding this whole running through somewhere again would be obviously to do this at the same time as the um, Wolf Queen Awakens quest and then you could probably just kill two birds with one stone and it'd be in the uh... okay that's random <laughs> okay anyway <laughs> we're here so let's grab the there it is. Shelly does insights, which um, aren't very long, <laughs> so he wasn't a very insightful guy. But anyway, we got him. So let's get out of here. And call it an episode, I guess, because I think we're probably easily coming up to the 20 minute mark if we haven't already passed it. get that last time so I might as well get it this time <laughs> and that's it guys I'm gonna call it here and um, so you know that was um, pretty random but we're well into the uh, Majors Guild quest line now and I'm gonna see it through to the end of the next couple of episodes I do hope you join me for that and as always guys it really does mean a lot uh, your continued support on these so thanks for watching take care and peace